Hi you guys and welcome to my Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Very excited about finally playing this game. I know it's been out a while now, but I only got it last week. I've wanted to play it since I heard so many good things about it, but I really wanted to finish Fallout 3 first. I did finish Fallout 3 the other night, I completed the main quest. I really enjoyed it, got a lot more to do regarding the, 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 the DLCs. Um, but I wanted to get put, like, put that on hold for now and get stuck into Fallout New Vegas, because uh, it's been like really calling me, I really wanted to have a go with it. Uh, I'm going to be playing it in hardcore mode, I'm a big fan of the Stalker games, really enjoy the survival aspect of those games and I'm hoping for a, a similar, if not better, experience here. And I've also tried not to look into the game at all before playing it. Uh, I'm aware of a few different creatures uh, and like the factions, but in terms of locations and plot, re plot, plot related stuff and like where to find things, I'm completely unaware and I'm really looking forward to exploring the Mojave Desert. Uh, so without further ado, let's play Fallout New Vegas. Uh, so this is me first save after leaving Doc Mitchell's little clinic place um, and this is the Mojave Desert. I really like the look of this already. Really really nice. Let's go have a look over here. Funky little house. Got here. Vending machine. Just be like, what they have out here instead of Nuka Cola. I've just robbed someone's. Look at that sky. Don't see a sky like that back in DC. What am I doing? Don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. Nice. Right, gotta go and talk to Sunny Smiles. What stuff I've got? Nine millimeter pistol. My jumpsuit. I don't need a tutorial. Buffalo goes. Hmm. Prospector saloon open twenty four hours. Who are you? Talk to Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Watching about those sons of bitches who did me in. The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. What's with the name? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Prospector. Like digging for gold and silver. Always like Stinky Pete from Toy Story 2. Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. What do you use the big owners for? I don't even know what they are. Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. 
They can put up a decent fight if cornered. What's wrong with the NCR? Maybe Don't the NCR. Get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Sheets a bit high. That's better. Who's the Legion? They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam. But the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Point taken. What did you find? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Can I own the dam? Do you know anything about Victor? I don't. The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Bit like you. Goodbye. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Right, um... Yeah, in here, got to see Sonny, or Smiley, someone. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in, survive? Teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Bet that is. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside. Behind the hell did they do to me? <laughs> when the aliens took him up into their spaceship, they abused him. Sexually. They just... Figuring out she was quick. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? No. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh, there. Everything all right? Until Did I get to go on a walk? There it is. There we go. That's the right. Yeah. Thing. Look down the site. Oh. Try crouching Quest. down and staying still. Uh -huh. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's a start. Aww. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. That is. What. It's me goal in life. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Why not? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Come on. Can I move on? Digging the music. Like Borderlands. <laughs> 